Assalamu alaikum this is Haseeb uh, live from Inspire360 page it's a training and a research consultancy firm and uh, today's uh, lecture or is the session is uh, totally on English. Uh, uh, today is uh, it's a question mark and uh, you we have to keep a smile uh, do something new. Uh, our uh, last uh, sessions were uh, by language and was uh, in Urdu and the English both. So, but uh, today's uh, session is uh, totally in English and try my level best uh, not to use a single word of Urdu. And uh, today's uh, the session is uh, related to uh, how the thesis are written and uh, what are the steps and the uh, questions are to be raised during this uh, during the making of the thesis and uh, basically these uh, thesis are heard by the uh, higher level of such that uh, phd amphil uh, mba and uh, most of the uh, educational institutes and the students are uh, looking and they are uh, confused uh, related to how to do, how to make, uh, do, how to manage the work, how to deliver it and <coughs> sorry and uh, all these things are uh, matters of understanding the steps and the topic which you are choosing related to it. Uh, first, that, uh, first step is uh, related to the topic you are choosing it and uh, the topic is uh, related to you can say that it should be uh, you might be said that it's uh, related to marketing or it's uh, related to the uh, thesis uh, related to the marketing, finance, HR, uh, supply chain management and uh, all these things uh, related to having uh, only one thing basics uh, that means to be clear uh, without uh, doing uh, injustice with yourself uh, without doing any research it is a uh, useless because uh, all these things are mattered in during this uh, this uh, thesis research uh, just uh, wait a second, I'm just uh, right. Great. The first part of the thesis is that is introduction. And uh, introduction is uh, not uh, related to uh, that you are just uh, giving you as a, this is the, the things uh, which uh, for example, chapter one, is an introduction you are giving you this a small brief uh, introduction related to your required topic doesn't mean that thing in that thing introduction you have to give a background of that topic you are researching it one number one point number two is that the topic you are choosing that, that you should give the introduction of related that thing the first part is history or background of the topic then is introduction of your topic then the definition if you are giving the other information related to it or any uh, important info, info you are giving it you can give it in that thing uh, the second part or uh, sorry the third part is that background of the study why we are, have to study what are the reasons and what you are, why you are choosing this topic you have to briefly define in that background of your study and uh, in that uh, background of the study you have to identify the problem background then the problem uh, statement you have to identify and the problem statement should be more not more than three or five lines not more than that it should be within these lines and it's specify why 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 I just want to clarify that your whole thesis should be 
secure nice and it should be linked chapter to chapter topic to topic with your original topic which you have chosen it the all the headings in the chapter should be recognized with your topic it should not goes out of it then the, the other part is of the chapter 1 is a research question why you are doing it? the the research question comes from the problem statement keep in this mind in yourself study of the significance uh, what will be the purpose of this study what comes outcomes and the scope of this study and this uh, related every general university keep in mind that every general university have a different uh, templates of thesis making so it doesn't uh, happen so the formats and the working methods remain same i will be coming up uh, how the research is done how the links you can choose it i will be discussing in later on i will be going on the first of the steps because this is a very important uh, the chapter number 2 is the literature review what is literature review literature review gives the summary with your topic you have chosen it literature review gives you a detailed articles which are related to that topic and that articles by your own words and mentioning the of the topic or heading you are giving in the chapter number 2 it should be uh, identified it should be the uh, the chap- articles are related to the international market and the national market so that the combination of both uh, articles will give you the blend in this uh, literature review uh, that is the most important and the most of the requirement is that uh, at least uh, 15 to 18 articles should be written that is a minimum depending on the requirement is you are writing about the 80 to uh, uh, 80 to 100 uh, pages articles uh, it's uh, sorry the thesis the article should be increased till uh, 20 to 30 uh, articles yes that is uh, it, how it will happen is so your research skills will be applying over here and uh, how you research and how you deliver it how you make it that is the most important thing which i have learned during my thesis and during my studies uh, which i am giving the uh, intro giving you the lecture uh, today's uh, session uh wait uh, the chapter number 3 next after the uh, literature review uh, you in the literature review in the last you have to uh, give the conceptual of uh, framework that uh, how the works goes and in that uh, conceptual framework you can identify the method how you, you will be conducting in the hypothesis uh, related to the research or no it's a content that you have to give the detail in it the third chapter is a research methodology and a research methodology give you the uh, the center of your thesis why uh, in in that uh, chapter you have to uh, give uh, declare that the base is qualitative or quantitative one thing and uh, you uh, third is that in the data collection you have to do then you have to have a limitations uh, during the research of the thesis and uh, these are the identification whatever the uh, issues you are uh, having in the uh, research um, in the research methodology and it should be given in uh, all the things is that ke in data collection which from which resources you have collected from from which institute you have uh, interviewed from which people all the structure has to be mentioned in data collection limitation whatever the problems you are facing is uh, that fourth chapter is finding an analysis uh, finding an analysis before going on this chapter 
the chapter number 4 uh, before that you have to take the interviews from the participants or the and the interviews and the and the uh, research question based near questionnaire based you have to uh, distribute the questionnaires and the uh, conduct the interview from both information from both and you have to collect those information you have to write those information in chapter number 4 in chapter number uh, in the uh, 3 the basic is that you have to run also spss if you are doing the uh, quantitative and if you are doing qualitative it, it all depends on how you are conducting but uh, the software you have to use for analysis from uh, statistical uh, software you have to use that is spss and that is most important thing uh, why SPSS use is to give you the brief introduction, brief uh, description of your thesis and the research is uh, original which you are doing if you are doing uh, honestly. There are many uh, things uh, people do that they copy paste or they give you the random uh, selection of the answers and they run on the SPSS. That is a find something is in the if you are shortage of time and you have to deliver the things on time you can do that thing but uh, I will request you to do honestly work ok uh, in the chapter number 4 finding an analysis uh, finding an analysis of whatever you have done in questionnaire that is the summarize and you have to give a detail with the graphic uh, pictorial format pictorial research pictorial things and you have to write down with your own words with your own understanding of it then uh, further uh, I will discussing that in chapter number the last chapter is uh, conclusion and the findings and the results make sure uh, in conclusion and the recommendation and the findings uh, which we are discussing over here in last chapter uh, make sure uh, the whatever the concept whatever the understanding of your thesis uh, related to you have chosen the topic make sure it should be on your own words it should be covering the topic it is covering the research related the outcome your understanding of it what your recommendation related to that issue the problems you are facing it and trust me if you are writing by, by your own self yes the mind will be you are using it it will be caching why i will be discussing it later in this uh, session uh, yes uh, these uh, five chapters have to be uh, goes through in the thesis uh, while you are making it point number one uh, i'm just uh, giving you the uh, hi hussein uh, thank you very much uh, for your love uh, First of all, the research you are making it, uh, make sure you will search on Google and write down the uh, split into the topic. How? For example, my topic was uh, the food insecurity of rice in Pakistan. So, I, I split it that topic into different parts. How? Number one, food insecurity. What is in food insecurity? I am researching on Google. Okay? then what are the insecurities in Pakistan related to the cash crops one second thing what is rice and how what are the types what are the problems you are facing it and what are the issues we are going internationally and the nationally these are the little bit uh, steps and the things uh, which I uh, go through to my research thesis and uh, this will uh, help you and uh, secondly during this uh, uh, research my uh, the the facilitator which I have chosen the thesis facilitator he helped me a lot and thanks to him very a lot and uh, due to that my, th uh, my thesis was uh, published in Malaysia in uh, 2014 and uh, I was uh, lucky that uh, this was uh, I was accomplishing it so, uh, in that uh, chapter, in during the research, these are the steps you have to choose and these are the questions you have to write down related to topic and you have to break that so that 
the maximum 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 results you can collect from the google and you uh, gather with yourself <coughs> uh, make sure uh, the articles you ha you should uh, select during the research on the google because the articles will help you in the making of your uh, literature review plus the first chapter and the second chapter will will be combining you make sure the problem statement you are writing is uh, by your own self it should be not written by other person or uh, it should not be copy paste uh, these are the few uh, tips and these steps uh, which uh, are the are used by the thesis uh, making or the thesis how to be made uh, any questions uh, i will be love uh, love it uh any things uh yes and i will say that uh, yes thesis it all depends ke how you complete that thesis in one month two months or three months or six months it all depends how you work and if you are doing job work i will request you if you are spending a one hour on social media or you using a sports or doing other activities please utilize that work on your thesis and the results day by day you are doing the research and you, the work will be concluded <coughs> in this starting honestly speaking in uh, startingly the uh, the mind won't work but you in in life and definitely uh, the success uh, you take one step it's harder the second step more harder but eventually the con once you start taking steps uh, gradually and you moving yourself forward one day your thesis will be completed mm. and it give you the patience consistency learning and keep on learning relearn learning and learn related to the topic relearn it will give you a frustration and you will say what the hell is going on but 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 in the end once it's completed and it's given uh, delivered to your supervisor i will guarantee you will learn it and you sweat like this and you will say wow i done it i done it i done it and uh, this will uh, from my heart i have supported other people related to the topics and to their research and literally alhamdulillah they have succeeded uh, successfully uh, they completed their thesis and uh, not uh, further in this session uh, today uh, i hope you have learned a lot from this my session thank you very much uh, have a nice day looking forward to and uh, signing from my uh, page uh, inspire 360 training a research consultancy firm um, my message inbox you can inbox me uh, or uh, call me on my number 0343211790 or you can text me or you, or you can email me on my email address is ins360 at the rate outlook.com and you can subscribe on my youtube channel hasib ashraf all these uh, live uh, telecast uh, the videos i'm doing on uh, on facebook are will be uploading soon on daily basis on uh, youtube channel you can subscribe it i will be loving it and you can show those videos with other people and invite people to subscribe further also and my page too also uh thank you very much once again thank you have a nice day allah hafiz this is sign this is hasib signing off